Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to show how to make some ambient sounds inside the RD2000. All right, let's get started. So from reading your comments and your request, I saw that uh, one of the requests was how to make an ambient sounds inside the RD2000. And, and I just thought, well, just make them. But I really didn't understand uh, the true meaning of ambient. And so I went and looked it up and it said it's all involving. Okay, so uh, take that for what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn how to create an ambient sounds inside the RD just by using the tones inside the RD2000 and using the real-time control knobs here on the left-hand side. All right, so let's get started now. So let's start off with this sound. It's hold down shift, and if you hold down shift and use the tone buttons, they now become a 10 key. So I'm gonna press and hold shift and hit 972, and when I let go of the shift key, it'll take me to that sound. So I'm gonna use for this example, SNH saw one. So let's give it a listen. So that's a pretty cool sound. If we go ahead and play it as a chord, it can sound pretty neat. So. So let's go ahead and start editing that sound. So one of the first things I'll do is I'll go ahead and use my select over here and I'll go to the controller area. And I like to use cutoff and resonance inside uh, the RD. So I might take this, start shaving the sound, adjust my cutoff. Notice when I let go, it immediately lets go. But so I'm gonna take that and put some release in here. So as soon as I let go, it takes it a little bit to release the sound. So a fast release, go ahead and have it low. Press the sound, immediately lets go of the sound. Put a long release. A bit longer. Pretty cool. All right, so I have that. I'm going to leave it there. So have it. Great. Now I might go ahead and choose another sound. So let's bring in zone number two. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the zone edit button right here. So the next one I'll bring in is a slow full strings. And let's leave this here. And let's bring it up to volume. Let's play with this a little bit. Pretty cool, just right there. And now let's bring in another sound. I'm going to bring in that wide soft pad, number three, zone three, and that's the one that comes in it right away. Let's turn off the other ones. Bring it in. Now, I haven't done a lot, so let's go ahead and introduce some effects. So I'll hit the select button and put it on reverb and delay. And let's turn it on. And then let's adjust what type. So I might do a three tap delay. Hear the delay kicking in. And that's how easy it is to go inside the RD2000 and start constructing your own ambient kind of sounds right in here. So if I wanted to save this, let's go ahead and save it. I'll press the right button and I'll save it as a program. Because remember, any of the edits you do to the tones are saved in the program and not the tone. So that's kind of cool. So I'll go ahead and save this right here and I'll just title, title it AMB SNH Saw and 
A and B, and I have uh, 16 characters to use, lowercase right there, lowercase, enter, great, and I have banks A through O, and I'll put this in O at the very end, there we go, one more, don't know my letters, and here we go, An initialized program, nothing is there, enter, and okay, so now I have it anytime I need it, so very quickly. So. <laughs> So this is just an introduction to creating ambient sounds. Uh, check out the next video I'm going to do, which is going to be a different type of ambient sound. And hopefully in this series of videos, we'll find something that you'll enjoy and kind of create your own ambient sounds. All right. My name is Ed Diaz. I hope this helps you out. Take care and we'll talk to you later.